Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence. Let all mortal flesh keep silence and with fear and trembling stand. Ponder nothing earthly minded, for with blessing in his hand, Christ our God to earth descending, comes our homage to demand. King of kings, yet born of Mary, as of old on earth he stood, Lord of lords in human vesture, in the body and the blood, he will give to all the faithful his own self for heavenly food. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of the transfiguration of the Lord, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Pam DeLott and Father Robert McEnroy. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those who are in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, Confirm the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I, Daniel, watched in my vision, thrones were set in place, and an ancient one took his throne. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and flowed out from his presence. A thousand thousands served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood attending him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. As I watched visions in the night, I saw one like a human being coming with the clouds of heaven, and he came to the Ancient One and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away, and his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. The word of the Lord. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and the peoples behold his glory. The Lord is King, 
the Most High over all the earth. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Light dawns for the righteous, and joy for the upright in heart. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This is my beloved Son, in whom is all my delight. Hear him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. Peter did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them to tell no one what they had seen until after the Son of Man was risen from the dead. So the disciples kept the matter to themselves, questioning what this rising from the dead could mean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. This feast of the transfiguration of the Lord reminds us that Jesus was not just human. Sometimes when we read the scriptures, and we talked about this this week at God Talk, our parish Bible study, that we fall in love with this nice guy, Jesus, who heals the sick, who hangs out with sinners, he's a great preacher, and at times it can be easy for us to forget that he is God. And so the Feast of the Transfiguration is an experience where Peter, James, and John realize that Jesus is transfigured, he's changed. His body is glowing, his clothes are white. This idea of that no one could bleach them shows that it's an experience that is different than they've ever experienced. And to appear between Elijah and Moses, all of us know that at the time of the transfiguration, Moses and Elijah had breathed their last. So it shows that Moses, signifying the law that the Jewish people followed, given to us by Yahweh, God, and Elijah, recognizing all of the prophets that pointed the people to who the Messiah would be, who is Jesus. By Jesus having an opportunity to speak to them in the presence of the three apostles, it shows the divinity of the Lord and that Jesus isn't just human. He absolutely is divine. And if we still need further proof, that beautiful voice of Yahweh speaking to us from the clouds, this is my beloved son, listen to him. This is not the first time that the Father spoke. And yet it's again a reminder to the apostles that he's not just a rabbi. Listen to what Jesus is saying. He is God. We need to listen to what Jesus is saying. How many times do we disregard some of the teachings of Jesus? Because they're difficult. Forgive? Well, I'll forgive everyone, but not this person. Because they're a hot mess. They've done this to me. Uh, 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 uh. Jesus doesn't have a disclaimer after his teachings. Love as many people as you feel comfortable. Forget the rest. Pray for your enemies. Forgive. Love. Serve one another. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. Jesus shows us the way. And in this beautiful feast of the transfiguration, 
we recognize also that Jesus is the way to the Father. And so as his body is transfigured, we anticipate the rising of our own bodies, that our bodies will be transformed. When we encounter God, the glory of God shines on us, no different than the glory of Moses, that his face would shine whenever he saw the Lord, that Elijah was taken up with chariots of fire. So when we encounter God, life changes for us. We encounter God in sacred scripture, and in a few moments, we receive his very flesh and blood. Let us ask God to transfigure us, too. So we go from being regular human beings to recognizing the honor and the privilege to be called children of God. And if we are to take on the name of Christians, then my actions, my words, my behaviors should exhibit he who is our leader and head, Jesus Christ our Lord. Transfigure us, O Lord. Transfigure us, O Lord. Let us pray. As we celebrate our one true Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, we bring our needs to our merciful Father, trusting in God's providence. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the Pope, for Bishop Burgi, and all who shepherd the body of Christ. May the Lord bless and strengthen them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all public servants. May the Holy Spirit inspire them to protect and defend the dignity and sanctity of human life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for young people in our faith community of St. Joseph. May the Holy Spirit fill them with the zeal for the gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Pam, Father Robert, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon find eternal peace in the glory of God's presence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer our prayers according to your most holy will. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor cleanse us from the stain of sin. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form, which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Peter, James, and John, with Moses and Elijah, St. Catherine of Alexandria and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family which you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we remember especially Pam and Father Robert and all who have died. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. There is no holy hour today. Rank on rank the host of heaven. Spread its vanguard on the way. As the light of light descending from the realms of endless day, that the powers of hell may vanish as the darkness clears away. At his feet the six-winged seraph Cherubim with sleepless eye Veil their faces to the presence As with ceaseless voice they cry Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia, Lord Most High God bless you, have a good day.